everyone. Welcome to our new lesson. Today, our lesson is about conductor and insulator. What are their differences? What are the examples? Are you ready? Let's go! What can you see in the video? Very good! Wires, metals, and electric post. What is an electrical conductor? Electrical conductor are the materials that allows electricity to flow. Examples, copper, silver, gold, aluminum, steel, and mercury. How Electrical Conductor Works The conductor works by electrical charges. Usually, electrons move easily from atom to atom with the application of voltage. In general, its capacity to transmit, such as heat. True or false? Your body is a conductor of electricity. True or false? The correct answer is true. Because the blood flowing very fast from the heart and our body cells contains various ions like sodium, potassium, and chloride ions which have the tendency to conduct electricity. That's why ang tao ay nakukuryente. the view and the sea. But did you know the salt water is a conductor of electricity? Yes, because the salt water molecules pull the sodium and the chlorine ions apart. So, they are floating freely and increasing the conductivity. These ions are carry electricity. So in short, salt water or water plus sodium chloride can help produce electricity to flow. Let's go now to insulator. Insulators are the materials which do not allow electricity to flow. Examples, plastic, rubber, cotton, wood, fabric, and glass. This light bulb is a very good example of conductor and insulator. The glass of the light bulb is insulator. The wire inside the light bulb are conductor of electricity. And the handle is a conductor because it's made up of an aluminum. while the switch is made up of insulator because it is a plastic. Okay, I'm getting bored now. Let's go to the moon! 
Did you know that if you have a light bulb on the moon and connected it in your house, it would take only 1.28 seconds to light up, even if the distance of that is 2,038,854 miles away? That's how powerful is the electricity. I hope you learned a lot from our lesson for today. Always remember the importance of electricity in our daily lives and the precautionary measures in handling electricity. See you in our next science video. Bye!